All right, we got not Solomon over here with a deck capacity of over a thousand. I do believe his gimmick is trying to summon Exodia. I am Jasper Dice Tutor. I will show you the true meaning of power. Exodia, obliterate! But yeah, get this. He's in a dark terrain himself, surrounded by a labyrinth wall. And I believe, yeah, this is the first time we're actually seeing Labyrinth Wall. So, he's got Exodia the Forbidden One. He has to get all, well, not even all four, all five. He only needs four pieces to win the duel because Exodia the Forbidden One is the head. You, you've already got one of the pieces. So, you need to get all the way around and fight him in this little hole so that you can win. Now, this would be a great time to use, like, uh, some uh, password cards because one of them, I forget what it's called, but basically it allows you to switch locations uh, with the card and your deck leader so that you can just move forward faster. But not relying on that right now. We're just going to go in normal. And Violent Rain might actually come in handy for this. Alright, so there you go. He's moving on in. And I'm just going to have a trail of monsters going this way. Well, as much of a trail as I can have. You know what? We're just gonna go in. Just like this. We're gonna wait for uh, some extra star power. Just throw the whole hand away. Try to get in as fast as possible. From what I remember, this duel isn't too hard, but you can just get unlucky. Alright, let's do. Uh, bit of dis. Use these two and we get the eagle. Alright, Violet Rain is going to keep this attack power no matter what whenever he's attacked, so as long as he can beat whatever shows up, which that's the first monster, I doubt it's going to have more than 2,000. Sitting in the whole squad. Oh, I'm waiting now. Yep, I'm waiting. Actually, no, no, no. Let me put Rain of Mercy down now. And I'll put in the work next turn. Wow, he overrode a card? Oh, he's trying to get one down there. Okay. Okay. He's throwing away cards. He's digging for Exodia now. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, hey, Red Eyes. Fancy seeing you here. Okay, now we're going to have a power of 3,100 on our side. And we got uh, Red Eyes. As a matter of fact, let's start moving uh, deck leader over there. All right, what you got? Trap? Gravity bind? No! No! Now my effect doesn't even activate. I can't. Ah! Well, at least I can override him. Oh, that sucks. That actually hurt. I don't think you can do much.
And I got Punished Eagle as friggin' uh, trap fodder right now. Hello. Let's go ahead and activate. Well, not activate force, but bring force around. Yeah, I need to. I need to finish this. He's uh. He's making his way through his deck. I'm not going to throw away uh, Flame Cerberus yet, either. And now we got Red Eyes back out. And basically, when I pull Forest up, I'm just going to activate it wherever. Give Flame Cerberus a boost. Yeah. Ooh, what do you have in the graveyard? Trap, trap, trap. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got no spells. That's a little bit annoying. Get you two moving again. I don't think. Ah. Well, unfortunately, if he moves forward again, I'm gonna be stuck here anyway. I mean, it's a little something, something. Yeah, before I was saying like this is what sucks about the labyrinth you got to go all the way around you have to go through this hole because terrain cards do not work on the labyrinth the only thing that uh, you could do with labyrinth is uh, ghoul shadow or uh, I'm sorry shadow ghoul or wall shadow those are the only two cards that can utilize a uh, labyrinth Oh, I'm sorry, Labyrinth Tank, I believe. All right, we're gonna get Flame Cerberus out here. Let's go. Basically, the fusion of Hades and Cerberus. Let's go. And I'm gonna turn on the... Uh... Yeah, I actually... We haven't gotten into a battle yet. So I'm actually going to keep the display on now. Ooh, what was that? What was that? Fake trap. Your boy threw in a fake trap. All right. Okay, he threw that in defense. Kind of scared about that. I feel like Red Eye's about to die. Hmm. Let's just throw something here. Yeah, no. Spellbound. about for three turns that I am not overriding my blue eye. I'm not blue eyes, my red eyes. You out your mind if you think I'm getting rid of him just so I can advance forward and win. Even though that's very stupid of me. By all means I should overwrite red eyes. 
Because that three turns can be killer. Freaking insect arm with laser cannon again. I don't think he has any, uh, spell cards. So you know what? I'm gonna dump Copycat, get Insect Armor out. Okay, there it is. Can't run into too many more traps now. If I can get through here on both sides, like I've got plenty of strong monsters. got power for days. Please. Wait, wait, wait. Is that just... I think that's just spellbound for three turns. Three turns. Okay. Not where I want to be spellbound, but oh my god, I'm stuck. I gotta wait for... Oh, this... This sucks. He's taunting me right now. He's like, yeah, you can't attack. I'm going to just get all up in your grill. Final flame. 200 points. All right. He finally does some damage to me after all this time. All right, this is my last turn for red eyes. Then you're gonna suffer. Frickin' mushroom man. Alright, let's go. Power increase? Okay, so we know it's a monster. But does it have a scary effect of some kind? I think those are the two pieces of Exodia, the ones that he's got up there in defense. So I think he actually has two left. Alright, let me attack you. I really wanted to show off this attack just because it's red eyes. Inferno Fire Blast! That's what you get. Spellbinding me for three turns. I love it. I don't love it enough to keep it on, but I love it. We moving on up. We're finally not stuck. Well, some of us aren't stuck. Most of us aren't stuck. Alright, what are you throwing in there? Yeah, he better not ignore me. Honestly, at this point, if he spellbinds me again, I might just have to plow through it. Might as well throw all these cards out. Never mind. Okay. Yeah, he was in attack mode too. What was that all about? Hmm. 
This card is flip face up all light monsters on are transformed into dark monsters? Okay. It'd be interesting if I actually had light monsters and I could use them in uh, the Yami or dark area. You know what? I might as well tail them. Because if I do uh, lose a monster, I need to summon another one. Okay. He needs to spellbind me or he loses. Right, can't do that. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Alright, what do you got? Not again? Seriously? Uh, when I'm powered up on there too. If you spellbind me one more time. At least that's only for one turn. Sorry, Red Eyes, we can't afford three turns. Wait a minute. The mountain doesn't... Well, I'm about to waste flame Cerberus, too. I'm about to... You're on a freaking mountain space. I, I messed up. I needed red eyes. I actually did need red eyes. Nothing else can take him on the mountain space. I'm only powered up because of my forest. Yep. I screwed up. I should have thought ahead. Excuse me? How long did that extend it? Infinitely? Oh, I'm mad. Oh my god, I'm screwed. I'm actually screwed. There's nothing I could do. Why, why didn't I think of that? Like, Red Eyes was actually the only monster that could beat him. Just desserts! Really? Like, well, if I can't find Exodia, I'll do magic damage. I can't believe I'm about to wipe over my best card. He's got way too many spell cards that do damage. Where did this come from? Oh, man. I just need to get to him. Another one? How many spell cards do you have? man just boosted all of his def uh, defenses. Yep, we, uh, we definitely can't beat you now.
would you stop? That's another 800! Oh, 500. Wait. I feel like that's 800 in the regular game. But still, oh my god! I can't believe I just overwrote my best card! It's because of freaking infinite. Ugh. Stupid. I've only got one card left. What is this card? Please don't be a trap. Please don't be a trap. You've played enough. You have definitely played enough. I have nothing but insects in my hand now. Thank you. What was that? Also, uh, copycat would be very nice right about now, huh? 300 points multiplied by the number of enemies on the field? Yep, that would have been very nice, but he wasn't using any before. I should have saved it. I didn't know. I thought it was all traps and defense monsters. Alright, what's he putting for defense? There's no way he has a monster with over 2,000 attack. There's no way. Don't you dare. Okay. Overrode it. What was it? Solomon's Law Book. Really? That's nice. Wow. Alright, so he has to move. Dude, he better not have Exodia. Yeah, keep in mind, he's only got eight cards left. Seven. Moment of truth. Book of Secret Arts again. Wow. So, I believe I might have won. If I can get Acid Trap Hole down there, I win. Oh my god. I need to... I need to overwrite whatever card's in front. Because for all I know, those could be Exodia pieces back there, too. There's one. And he's done. Never mind, I'm at 2,000 flat. Uh, he's powered up in the darkness and he's powered up in general. Hold up. What about that one, though? What are you doing? He can't summon any more monsters. I don't know why he moved though. There was no reason for him to move whatsoever. So he's probably going to move again this turn. I'm going to win the turn after. Yep. 
So yeah, he has too many monsters on the field, and I'm gonna read Exodia's effect. What? Was that injection very low? What? You really? What? Increase 50 points at the start of each turn. What? Now you're getting desperate for that? How long has that card been sitting there? How much health could you have gotten back? Um. Well. We trap you now. But yeah, I need to read Exodia's card. Hold up. Uh, summon the four limbs from your own deck to adjacent summon areas and enter your next turn without being spellbound and victory is yours. So yeah, that's how it works. So you don't just have the cards in your hand. You actually do have to have them on the field. And you have to use four of your five summon slots in order to get the uh, pieces of Exodia. So actually, now that I thought about it, yeah, if he had any of these monsters over here, like if he had two monsters, he already couldn't get the five pieces of Exodia without me destroying monsters. So guys, I think me overriding red eyes and not making the mistake of plowing through all of his defenses was the best thing I could have possibly done. It'd be nice if I actually could have destroyed all the Exodia cards. And I and like won them. But yeah, he had like his cards were maxed out. I think he has five monsters and five spell traps. I'm not entirely sure, but No, he didn't have that many. He only had five monsters. But all right, he's actually got fake traps in here. Not what I wanted. That's all right. What? Phantom, dude, what? I was looking for Okazi or just desserts, to be perfectly honest. So, uh, overriding uh, Red Eyes was a blessing in disguise because of how I definitely would have played otherwise. You may have beaten me, but I doubt you'll survive a duel with my nephew Yugi. Nephew? Nephew? Oh, how they changed that one. Give me that card. Now, is there like a split in the path now or not? No? Okay, because there are definitely multiple split pads in uh, the other side. Bakura? Why did I forget you're on this side? Oh yeah, because you're freaking Bakura! Bakura!